If you want to be blessed, you must take the blessed test. If you want to be blessed, you must take the blessed test. Can I tell you before we even get into this message, a lot of us want the blessing. And we feel that once we get the blessing, Miss Potter, we have arrived. We got there. The blessing's here. Shout, Jesus. I made it. Touchdown. I scored. It's over. I want to tell somebody in here today that was taught some false doctrine. When the blessing landed in your lap, that was the day the test started. Are you did? Are you loving and kind? Are you still uh, pleasing in the Lord's sight? Who are you when you're not in church? Who are you when the devil comes? First, don't get it twisted. This ain't got nothing to do with me. And I'm on King Jesus' team. Amen. That's his team, my mom. I'm not for a denomination, and I'm not for a name. I'm only for one name. Amen. The name that I'm saved by, the one that paid for me in blood, the one that bought me with stripes. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about Jesus. Somebody gets tired of Jesus. How long is that the age of 75 years old, Jesse? And God walks up to him and says, I want you to do something that's going to make you uncomfortable. It ain't from where you're from. It don't look like what it looks like, and it don't smell like what you used to smell. 75 years old, Abraham's preparing for a rocking chair. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Abraham is getting ready to get up his rocking chair. 75 years old, I probably got my deer stand comfortable. That's probably me. <laughs> 75 years old, God shows up and says, all right, boy, let's go. Yep. I thought we was getting ready to rest. <laughs> 75 years old, and God shows up and says, now... If you want to be the father of nations, if you want to be blessed, if you want me to bless those that bless you, if you want me to curse those that curse you, if you want God on your side, Abraham. He said, today you got a test to take. Number one, go. Sometimes the greatest gifts in your life are waiting on you to get up and get them. Come on, brother. Well, Sit down, Abraham, you understand that? When they walked out of the tent on the two legs that the Lord gave them, you hear me? With the strength that God had given them, God said, not today. I'm not going to prepare the meal for you. Today you're going to go get it, but I'm going to give you the strength to get there. I'm going to give you the wisdom and knowledge and know where to go to go get it. I'm going to carry you. I'm going to lead you. I'm going to direct you. I got you, son. Even though I'm not doing this, don't mean I ain't doing that. You hear me? Because when it comes to you, he never leaves you. Sometimes he allows things to take place. To strengthen you, to make you who he's called you to be, to, to get you ready for the next storm. So when it comes in and a devil puts something on your back, you say, but hold on, 